Yay, that's good, that's good. Go, Gabriel, go. Go, buddy. A baby's first steps. For most children, simply another milestone. Good. He's doing really, really good. Look at that, look at that. Awesome, keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah, 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 keep going. Keep going, buddy. But for one-year-old Gabriel, it's a goal many thought he'd never accomplish. Any achievement for a child is awesome, but with him, it's like over coming Mount Everest. At just three months old, Gabe became a victim of abusive head trauma, also known as shaken baby syndrome. I just get flashbacks going back to seeing him so bruised. He was nothing but a bruise or seeing him so swollen. I couldn't see his eyelashes and he's got pretty long eyelashes and I couldn't see his belly button and I just think back to all of that and it's very difficult to think about. I mean, you don't, no parent should have to see their child like that. A CAT scan revealed he had several life-threatening injuries. But then they kept telling me he wouldn't make it overnight, he wouldn't make it the next couple days and he continued to fight and be strong and proved all of them wrong. Gabe may have survived the abuse, but every day he faces barriers and complications as a result. He wears a helmet to protect his fragile brain, has problems with his vision, even has a mild form of cerebral palsy. Because he is developmentally delayed, he also goes through extensive therapy. We work on lots of things. We work on walking and talking and learning how to use objects in his world. Bouncy, bounce, 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 bouncy, 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 there was one study out of North Carolina that predicts that possibly three or four babies undergo this kind of abuse every day in the United States. Doctors say one of the most important steps in reducing these cases is prevention. At Via Christi, before parents leave the hospital, they watch a video teaching proper handling techniques. It's that rapid back and forth, high velocity, even faster than this, or the forcefully setting a baby down rapidly that um, causes some of the more devastating injuries. That split-second decision left Gabe with a lifetime of struggles that he's working to overcome one step at a time. That was good. That was good.